Hi guys, Alex Peak Performance Reviews. Welcome to another vlog and welcome to uh, another video, another super update you'll see in the title. Uh, yeah, like I say, it's basically a bit of an update video for the Supra. Um, I have had some minor running issues of late. The car feels really good. There's no mechanical nasty knock sounds. Um, but the data, log is, the data login is not picking anything up specific that's causing or throwing an error which is starting to lead me to believe that there may be a fuel pressure issue but or something along those lines, whether it's starving a little bit of fuel because I'm getting what sounds like surge, but not necessarily a low fuel situation. So um, I'm, the first port of call is after looking at some of the things that I thought it may be, you'll see from the other video. If you haven't watched that, I'll ping it up in the top right hand corner for you now. Um, yeah, I, I've got a weird feeling that it could be fuel pressure. I've spoken to a few people, they think maybe that. But I need to go and do a data log on, on data log pull and a few pulls, hard pulls first, and then send the data to my tuners uh, or tuner and a friend to look over the logs and just check fuel pressure. I may be able to do that even today myself. So I may have a little open up of the file um, as long as I can get it to data log. I've been having some issues with data logging. Um, Cyvex is a relatively complex, but an amazing ECU. But to read yourself, I find other people that are probably watching this will probably go, no, that's not true. Um, but yeah, just to make sure I get it logging and um, I don't know whether I'm having size file issues or something like that. I don't know, but anyway, I've got to make it, make it log. Uh, and then I can go in the tables for fuel pressure, just see where the fuel pressure is. Uh, I know where it's been at um, on prior runs, so I'd like to see how it's kind of running in terms of that. And then obviously if we find that we are low on fuel pressure or fuel pressure is doing some weird things, uh, the two things that we're gonna definitely look at today is gonna be the, uh, the fuel filter, check um, how the fuel filter looks now, and also the fuel filter socks on the uh, fuel pumps. Um, so. We're going to do to do that today, and you'll see me opening up, opening up the back, and trying to get that done. Um, and um, you may even see a few pulls, or if not, me going out in the car um, just to get this log done. Um, anyway, uh, let's get in the car, uh, turn it on, and go through a little log and a pull, and then uh, get on with the uh, fuel pump and fuel pressure uh, issue looks. Uh, if that makes sense. Uh, yeah, let's see how we go. All right, let's get this data login on. Uh, I've got ignition on. I'm going to go to. I've got loads of these different files, uh, types or Cyvex type <clears throat> folders. You can be set up. Mon, which is mon monitoring data dash cal view message. All okay, kinds. Yeah, just with a little bit of search on the YouTube clips. Um, again, I don't think the Cyvex uh, help uh, YouTube is that straightforward and clear-cut as such um i'd like to see visual proof of it um of a car actually doing a log and showing it uh, so you know when that log is kind of live when it's going because obviously they tell you how you prompt to start up a login session which i think remain is obviously set you can see parameters on each of these different things here um, which is fine so it's all where it needs to be auto login will start um there's no, in theory, when uh, your car hits these uh, prompts, RPM, whatever it may be, engine speed, etc., it should start logging. But there's nothing to show that it starts logging. But it probably does. In, in, in essence, it should. Now, I reckon what my problem is, and I may be wrong, is after I've done uh, probably a pull or a log as such, when it's data... Uh, live um, checking data, so data login. Um, my guess is I sh I need to, when I've finished the log, is I need to press just file save here, hopefully, uh, and then we should be able to look at it. I should be able to check that today. Basically, I'm gonna go on a run. Um, I'm, I've been an absolute burk, and unfortunately, oh no, actually I might do, actually I've just found a loop, I've got one there. Um, I should be able to do a little pull with um, video footage, so yeah. Let's get on with it anyway. Let's get this uh, fired up. This should start um, showing all live data and should start logging. And then we just need to hit um, uh, save, basically, I would have thought. So, yeah, let's get logging. So 
five it's holding it back actually i have got i hope you can hear me uh it, it the cow is coming up with an fp trip which is a, a fuel pressure uh trip um and it says uh during different parts of the run the uh fuel the, the sensor warning level is uh going from normal to moderate and then to critical um and if you look at the flag there is a, they're all within like a um critical level so uh, i don't know whether it's because the sen the sensors um sensing there's an issue or the actual uh, voltage etc amps from the uh sensor a crap but i've got our, um i've got our r space in my tuner um i'm still struggling to get this to save the file and that's why i've not turned it off yet but i'm going to try and uh, speak to one of my tuners and uh, uh get them to uh help me to understand this hope i don't know whether you can see that very well it's a bit of a it's a bit of a glare on the screen it's sunny outside so but yeah let's have a look here are fuel pressure i don't know if you can see that over here it's got this it's up high at critical level anyway let me crack on and um we'll turn the car off and get this uh, saved right yeah so i think we've kind of definitely established it um and i think because i had it plugged in now i'm really struggling to extract uh data to then send to my tuner um which would have been nice because i could have looked at fuel pressure and base fuel pressure and what's going on uh while it's under load um but it's gone into a limp mode and it's it's tripped and an error has come up anyway it's still it's still running fine it runs actually quite hard it just logs at an error so to speak and it's a fuel pressure um it says fuel pressure sensor um but in my head i said I, i'm thinking does that mean that the fuel se uh, sensor is uh shitting out to me probably yes um or is it sensing something that's making it go into a critical state i don't know i'm reasonable on electrics but my head says depending on the communication with the Cyvex, I don't know. So got to ask the question. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to start having a look at around, look, looking around at uh, fuel, yeah, fuel pressure sensor, uh, which I think is on a, the fuel pressure regulator. Um, it, is, it is very old, to be fair. It could be clogged up, could just be bad. Um, normally, if an error comes up, it's normally bad. And systematic of, of the way it started to break down, it's slowly got worse sensor sounds about right but um if not yeah let's look at the fuel pressure um filter and the fuel um tank uh sock filters as well um let's get on with it anyway got a lot to do um yeah let's have a look all right so we're just having a little look i've <clears throat> had a little look around um some of the vacuum pipe pipes on the bottom of the manifold the in inlet manifold uh, or intake manifold shall I say um, and yeah they all look good I've taken the pressure sensor uh, the fuel pressure sensor off and it seems all good it doesn't seem anything's clogged this side so I'm going to put that back in I'm going to have a look at the back side obviously pumps etc and fuel pressure um, filter or fuel filter should I even say yeah so obvious things to check which effectively when we had some issues we've already checked really anyway but um yeah fuel pump um relays and fuses so there's no uh burnt out fuses the relays appear to be good might put a bit of uh light on them just to see if it's obvious i know we should test these but um to be fair if they were bad the fuse would go and they are absolutely fine uh it's been working all the time prior to that uh, we've got basic earth um, as well which go, does go to the fuel pumps uh, part of the loom it is a really really basic bitch setup but fuse is all good there a lot of this i'm going to change and improve on anyway um earths on the pump there's a lot of other earths here there and everywhere dotted around again some ghetto ones but some ones that basically are just um they need to be improved on but there's no there's nothing that will suggest to me there's an earthing issue um anyway so we need to really get all of this off and yeah start to check the pumps um and yeah see if there's something obvious going on um if not well you say you know don't know until you you give it a go so let's uh yeah let's check that out in my haste of how slow I've actually been today and with other stuff going on today that I need to do, uh, I am going to have to um, stop this uh, 
video here so this is part one there's going to be a part two to this just started doing the pump removal um, and I've, I'm pretty much running out of time I haven't really done that much in the space of time I've just been I actually had some guy come over and speak to me and literally just consume my time it's all I always don't I don't mind it but actually it has absolutely killed my uh, possibility of finishing this relatively simple you know uh, problem solving uh, thing or video should I say I'm babbling on now. I'm tired as well, to be fair. I've had a mental week. Anyway, guys, um, this is part one. Look out for part two. Um, probably be next week. Um, if you've got any questions about anything that we've done today anyway, uh, or the car itself, or anything in general, um, hit us up in the comment section. Um, thank you so much for watching. As always, like, share, comment, subscribe. See you again in the next one. Bye for now.